Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you. And uh, recently I've had a lot of people uh, ask me if I have an indicator that can disable any EA, especially my Excalibur EA, during high impact news events. Okay. And before my first EA I ever built, which is my ultimate EA, uh, many of y'all have been using that and still making profit with it. But the thing is, uh, I, in that EA, I had an indicator provided by Forex Factory that could disable uh, the EA during any high impact news events, correct? And then Forex Factory uh, quit providing servers for it, so it no longer worked. So I have been on the hunt for to find another replacement or another indicator that could disable the my Excalibur EA on any uh, high impact news events, okay? And luckily I have found such a thing. So today I want to show you how to install this indicator and all you have to do, once you have the Excalibur EA, the final version of this working, you have a smiley face, then uh, open your web browser and head on over to, uh, it's called darkmoonfx.com forward slash news info. I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can go straight to it. But once you come here and you scroll down, okay, you're going to see a link here that says download the IceFX news info, okay? So, uh, this is the indicator, right? Also, there is a user's manual, which I recommend downloading also because there's, there's going to be a lot of settings that you can manipulate and play with. I'm not going to go over all the settings because I'm not a expert on this, but I've been using this and it does work, okay? So, go ahead and download this right here, okay? And just for this example, I'm going to download it to the desktop, save it, and then once it opens up, um, all you have to do is go right here, okay? Uh, this example, I'm just using uh, this WinRAR, but you can use whatever uh, unzip utility you'd like. But go, I'll go here and extract the file, okay? And I'm going to extract, I have a folder here in my documents called Forex. I'm just going to put it there. And then there's another in, there's another folder here called libraries, okay? There's a DLL file, which is called, DLL stands for data link library. Okay, this is a library file. And you're going to copy this also. You're going to extract and put it wherever you put that last file. And then uh, close out your unzip utility. And then come back to your MetaTrader, okay? Go back to your MetaTrader. Once you've downloaded that and you've got the file ready for installation, go to your MetaTrader, click on File here, okay? Open Data Folder, and then go to where you just downloaded it, okay? Which is Documents, Forex for me. I have a folder for all my Forex indicators and EAs or whatever. So, there's right here it says ISFX News Info, oh, right here. And EX4, okay, EX4 and DLL, just like this, okay. I've already downloaded this before, so this is just a a refresh for me, basically. I'm gonna copy these two files, okay. Copy the DLL and the EX4, and then go back to here, okay, to the MQL4 folder. Double click, and then what I like to do is just right click right here, paste. And put those two files. Now the one that says dot dll, uh, drag and drop that to the libraries folder. Okay, and I've already done this, so I said I just click replace. And then when, also it says icefx news info. Put this in the indicators folder right here. Okay, and then once you have that in the indicator folder, just close out this window and go over to indicator list and your navigator window and right click and click refresh okay and you should see one that says icefx dot news info okay and then double click on that and it will put it on the chart but first it's going to pop up uh, for, well, it's going to pop up all these inputs but first you need to go to the common tab okay and click allow dll imports because we're using a dll file with this okay and that's going to give you live feed, a live update for any high impact news events or any news events rather, not just high impact. But um, so 
there's a lot of sentence here, right? So what you really, really need to uh, be concerned about is right here where it says disable expert advisors before news. The default is false, okay? So change that to true. And this is 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after, meaning that the, the expert advisor will be disabled 30 minutes before and then re-enable 30 minutes after, okay? That is perfectly fine the way it is. You can change it if you want, but this one right here says DEA minimum impact, okay? Disable extra advisor. The minimum impact is medium events by default, okay? Change that to high events, okay? You can put on whatever you want, but for me, I want it on high events because I want all the high events uh, disabled, okay? And blocked. And also, right here, uh, where is this? Show times and local time, okay? It says false, change that to true, okay? You can play around if you want, but basically, it's gonna display uh, all, the, all the, you know, the current news events, but you want it displayed in your local time wherever you live in the world. You don't want to display it in the GMT or London time, okay? Just to make it easier on you to read, all right? Uh, send notification. You can change right here where it says send, send notification. That's totally up to you. you. Basically, you can get a push notification telling you there are high impact news events. That's also, that's nice if you're doing manual trading and um, you don't want to trade manually. So that is a very good feature. Uh, basically, that's all you need to do. And then click OK. And once it is working, OK, now it should pop up a window here it's going to take a minute okay it's going to pop up this window here that shows your current time and uh all the upcoming news events uh, whether they're medium high low impact or whatever the red ones are high impact and it's going to show you right here uh you have some uh, lines right here to show you international dateline or whatever and then some news events so as this moves across you can see these uh, different ones light up. For me, for me personally, I do not like these lines right here and these these times right here, okay? That's very distracting. So what I like to do, this is just me, is I like to go to the, back to Expert Advisor property, or uh, Expert Advisor, sorry, go to Indicator, Indicator List, and go to ISFX News Info right here, okay? And then scroll to the bottom, and right here it says Show Timelines, disable that turn it to false and also uh, show market open okay turn that to false okay and then hit okay and it will it will just get rid of all that okay and then all you need really is this box right here okay and then whenever the expert advisor is disabled you will have a message that pops up and if I turn up if I turn the expert advisor off you should see a message here that pops up <coughs> We'll see if it actually works. I don't know because the market is closed right now. Uh, no, it's not popping up, but it's okay. You have a message that pops up that says experts are disabled. Okay, so that way you know your expert advisor has been disabled. All right, so anyhow, this, uh, this is very, very easy to install and use, but this will work. This will disable the Excalibur EA during any high impact news events, and at least that gives you a extra layer of protection to uh, try to block out any trading during any high impact news events which ultimately causes a lot of volatility and a lot of big spikes so there's been times where there's been big news breakouts especially during not especially during a non-farm payroll or NFP where there's usually potentially big big spikes in the in the price okay and this really could cause a huge drawdown in your open trades so that's the whole reason behind this uh, news indicator okay so anyhow this is how you install let me know if you have any questions like I said I did not design this so I'm just giving to you as a free download and you can add this okay and once you have it added right you just go back here and save template I forgot to tell you this but just go back to your Excalibur EA template and save it and make a fresh template and then all you have to do is open up a new chart and then hit Excalibur EA and it should load with the 
um, you know, the indicator right here, the news indicator, plus you should see the Excalibur EA final right here as well, okay? Once you have a template. So anyhow, let me have any questions about this. Um, you know, I'll be more than happy to try to help you solve any problems. I'm not the expert on this, but it works very well. And there's also, like I said, there's a, a manual that you can download. And you can go over the manual and kind of go over some of the settings as well. But anyways, this is what I've been working with, and it works perfect. So let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be more than happy to try to help you. Thank you.